In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Call forth to beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mass intentions. Added to our individual intentions at this Mass, we have been requested to pray for the following intentions. Birthday Thanksgiving and Divine Breakthrough for Felicia M. De Souza. Birthday Thanksgiving for Patricia O. Vera Cruz. Special intentions for Gladys Ngozi and Bright Ijo families. Patrick O. I. De Souza. God's protection and Johnny mercies for late Mary Ochese's family. God's protection and favor for Mofin Fuolua Ojo and Mary Ojo. God's favor and blessings for Dr. and Mrs. G.A.T. Obo and family. MCA, praying for the MCA children in Lagos Archdiocese and all over the world. Also praying for their parents, patron, and patronesses of MCA. The MCA also praying for the PMS director, Reverend Father Simeon Irabo, the Archdiocesan coordinator, Reverend Sister Doris Gali, the coordinators and animators working with them. They are also praying for the Archbishop, His Grace, Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins, and all the priests and religious of the Archdiocese of Lagos. For the repose of these souls, Antonia O. Mosiah, and Eliam C. Olayinka, and Dorothy F. Balogun. May the good Lord hear and grant our intentions, and may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With children all over the world. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon, animators and coordinators. We welcome you all to our celebration today, this Saturday of the third week of Lent. We give thanks to God for bringing us together here safely. We ask Him to bless us as we honor Him in this sacrifice. And we thank our mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, whom we celebrated yesterday at the Annunciation. May our Lord continue to hear our prayers and grant all our heart's desires and make us his good friends through the same Christ our Lord. Let us dispose ourselves to celebrate this Mass worthily by calling to mind our sins and asking God for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, and by as a great and very great and very great. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
for me in your misery. Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has struck us down, but he will bandage our wounds. After a day or two, he'll bring us back to life. On the third day, he will raise us, and we shall live in his presence. Let us set ourselves to know the Lord. That he will come is as certain as the dawn. He will come to us as showers come like spring rains watering the earth what am i to do with you ephraim what am i to do with you judah this love of yours is like a morning cloud like the dew that quickly disappears this is why i have torn them to pieces by the prophets why i slaughtered them with the words from my mouth his judgment will rise like the light since what i want is love not sacrifice knowledge of the lord not holocaust the word of the lord what i want is love not sacrifice.
The Lord be with you. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus spoke the following parable to some people who prided themselves on being virtuous and despised everyone else. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood there and said this prayer to himself, I thank you, God, that I am not grasping on just adulterers like the rest of mankind, and particularly that I am not like this task collector here. I fast twice a week, I pay tithes on all I get. The task collector stood some distance away, not daring even to raise his eyes to heaven. But he beat his breast and said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. This man, I tell you, went home again at right with God. The other did not. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the man who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. seat. Good afternoon, our very own dear Monsignor Bernard Okodwa. Good afternoon, our very own Monsignor Jerome Oduta. And my dear people of God, particularly our children from Surulere, Deanery, the MCA. We pray that the good Lord who has brought you to this day will grant you your legitimate heart desires through Christ our Lord. We shall reflect on the topic if you must be blessed, you have to be humble. If you must be blessed, you have to be what? Humble. 
there was a story of a rabbi in a synagogue and he was known to always disappear the eve before the sabbath you know the sabbath is what saturday so usually by friday evening he will disappear and the followers were a little bit edgy and uncomfortable they wondered where he will usually go on the eve of the sabbath and so they planned to get a spy to go with him without his knowledge and the next sabbath day that was drawing there they made the spy to take the same step with him the eve of the sabbath and so the rabbi did not know that someone was coming after him spying on him so he left the village and went down into another village and the spy was still with him at this point finally he went into a house where there was a very poor woman who was bedridden you know somebody to be bedridden was that she was lying there helpless so usually when he comes on the eve of the sabbath he will clean the house and make sure everywhere is very neat and he will prepare the sabbath meal for the woman and make sure she eats before he will leave the house that was how he did that same eve of the sabbath and so when the spy returned to those who sent him they asked him what are your findings and he said well that the rabbi went I I say went I is it that he goes to heaven you know he said no even higher and he narrated the story to them that he usually will go to this poor woman to take care of her and to feed her that is the most important thing that we are also asked to do in this season of length one of the pillars of this season is to give arms to be at the back and call of one another to be our brothers and sisters keepers and that is why the world today is inundated with the hot spots that the fighting is going on ukraine you have heard of the story how ukraine is being bombarded by the russian soldiers that was why yesterday we had the consecration of ukraine russia the world and the church to the immaculate heart of our mother mary and it was aired on the, our televisions where the pope dedicated and asked for the intercession of our mother mary who is also the queen of peace and so beloved friends in christ today as we reflect on this topic concerning humility what is humility humility is simply recognizing our limits according to charles h spongion humility is to make right estimate of ourselves it is no humility for a man to think less of himself than he ought it's not to look down on yourself but to think less of yourself and put others before you that is humility we see the very opposite of humility at display in the gospel of today through the attitude of the pharisee 
who came in order to pray. What our scripture says, the prayer he made was unto himself, not to God. Because he lacked humility. In the words of St. Augustine, humility is the foundation of all the other virtues. Hence, in the soul, it which this virtue does not exist, there cannot be any other virtue except its mere appearance. So in the soul in which this virtue does not exist, what we have is mere appearance, pretense. It simply means if we are not humble, we cannot be holy. If we are not humble, we cannot be holy. Now, how do we acquire the virtue of humility, my dear children and people of God? We must pray for it. It is right to say no virtue is ever formed in our souls except by frequent prayers. As the saying goes, a prayerless Christian is what? A powerless Christian. Now, my dear children, if you truly desire to be humble, pray every day for this grace. Asking God to help you overcome your self-love and selfishness. Avoid the aggressive pronouns, me, I, and myself. St. John Mary Vianney teaches us or says thus, we should daily ask God with our whole hearts for humility, which is the grace to know that we are nothing of ourselves and that our corporal and spiritual welfare proceed from him alone, that is God, our loving Father. Number two, obey legitimate authorities. Our parents, priests, religious, teachers, our elderly ones, those who guide our steps in the right path. One of the virtues that we must bear is this humility that we have shined the pride in us. One of the obvious manifestations of pride is disobedience. Satan fell because he was proud. Humility is always manifested by obedience to legitimate authority. As you know, obedience is the first law in heaven. So when we are obedient, to God's law and to the right tenets, surely we will make heaven. St. Benedict says, the first degree of humility is prompt obedience. Number three, think better of others than of yourself. When we are proud, we invariably think we are better than others. As you know, pride goes before a fall. St. Paul tells us in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility count others better than yourselves. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. The prayer action for us, my dear ones, dear children, and people of God. One, at this Mass, ask God for the gift of humility. Two, make efforts not to look down on any person like the Pharisee did in the gospel of today as we listen to 
the voice of the Lord, my dear ones, let us not harden our hearts. May the word of God find a home in our hearts. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us rise for a prayer of the faithful. Let us pray that God may hear the intentions which we make to him through Jesus, our Lord. Let us pray for the Pope, bishops, priests, reverend sisters, and all the clergy whom God has chosen to shepherd his flock, that all the whole people on earth will work with them accordingly, and at the end, all will bear witness to the kingdom of God. We pray, O Lord. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria, that our leaders may be granted the grace to lead the people well and also provide for the less privileged. And also, we pray for Ukraine and Russia that they may be granted peace and harmony. We pray to the Lord. children, students and apprentices and all who are engaged in one vocation or the other, that God will increase their wisdom and understanding and make them grow like salt and light of the world. We pray, O oh Lord. Let us pray for the MC for our MC coordinators, cutists, animators, teachers, and all caregivers, that the that the grace of the Lord will abide in them to bring up the children in a way most pleasing to God, so they become better future leaders of the old world. We pray, O oh Lord. Let us pray for the sick, that the mighty healer, our all-knowing God, will grant you divine healing to all those in the hospital, and also to those who cannot afford to go to the hospital. 
We pray, O oh Lord. pray for the safe delivery of the pregnant woman and also all women who are looking for the fruit of the womb that God will grant their families and give them children of their own we pray O oh Lord pray for us sinners that our compassionate God will touch our hearts, increase our faith in Him, and make us holy and strong soldiers of Christ. We pray, O oh Lord. pray for all souls in purgatory and those of our departed brothers and sisters that God will grant their soul eternal rest. We pray O oh Lord. We offer all our prayers to God through the intercession of our mother Mary, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, we pray our hopes to you because they are important to us and because we trust you. Be present to us, we pray, and to all those for whom we pray, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. O oh God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure, grant we pray that in reverently hand them back, handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our eternal salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
with the third acclamation, let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring God to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alfred our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless our Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints of Israel throughout the ages, who may merit to be co heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for the benefits of those participating with us virtually, let us say the acts of spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. We adore you, we love you above all things, and we desire with all our hearts to receive you into our souls. But since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our souls and remain there forever. We embrace you as though you have already come. We unite ourselves entirely to you. Do not permit us to be ever separated from you again. Amen. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, have mercy on the dying. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, have mercy on the dead. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, grant us a holy and happy death. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Prayer for an end to the coronavirus pandemic. O God, our help in ages past, we, your children, humbly implore your mercy at this time of adversity. We are devastated by the coronavirus pandemic that is ravaging the whole world, snuffing life out of your people and spreading fear everywhere. You are the God of life, and nothing is impossible to you. You ask us to call on you in the day of trouble, and you will answer us. We know that we are sinners who are unworthy of your favors. Although we have no merits of our own to plead before you, we stand on the merits of the death and resurrection of Christ and plead his saving blood over our lives and situation. We ask you to be merciful to us and save us from this scourge that is devastating the world. Be gracious to us and speak life and healing into the present coronavirus scourge and command it to depart from our world. Give leaders of governments and scientists divine wisdom and knowledge to take the right decisions and to discover the medication needed to cure people who are infected with this virus. Protect all health workers and volunteers. Look with pity on those who are already infected with this deadly virus and heal them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died from it and comfort those they left behind to mourn their demise. Lord, through this scourge, may the hearts of many be turned back to you, their creator. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. All angels and saints of God. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O oh merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us. And may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through Christ our Lord. Let us be seated.
Children, we are now going to have a general thanksgiving. And we expect everybody to participate in it. Let us give thanks to God for our being children and thank Him for our animators and coordinators, for our parents and our teachers, for our catechists and all our mentors and all caregivers to help us to grow as loving children of the church, of the home, and of the society. You are marvelous, yeah. 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 You are marvelous, yeah.
Children, 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 with children all over the world, are you happy today? Are you sure? If you are happy, please let's stand up and clap for Jesus. Children, children, we are friends of Jesus. Children, children, we are friends of Jesus with children all over the world. Thank you very much. Please sit down. Good afternoon once again. Good afternoon, uh, Monsignor, the chief celebrant of today from Suwilere Dinari and the vicar for Lagos region, very reverend Monsignor Bernard Ayodele Okodua. Let's clap for Monsignor, please. Let's give Monsignor our MCA clap. Children, children, we are friends of Jesus. Monsignor, we are very happy to have you with us and we are indeed glad that you are here with us today with Sue Lere Dinari to celebrate this Thanksgiving Mass for our children. Thank you very much, Monsignor. We also have today in our midst the chaplain, MCA chaplain for Sue Lere Dinari, very Reverend Monsignor Jerome Oduton. Children, please let's clap for our MCA chaplain. Children, children, we are friends of Jesus. Monsignor Jerome, thank you very much for being here with us. He's our father in the dinary and he's always standing there for us and with us. We pray that the good Lord be blessed them through Christ our Lord. And of course, as usual, we have our own PMS director, the person of very reverend Father Simeon Irabo, let's clap for him, please. He gave us a beautiful homily, isn't it? So let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Father Simeon, and we pray that the words of exaltation you have given to our children today as they go home they will put them into practice by the grace of god isn't it children do we promise to be obedient do we promise that that is the first sign of humility so let us go back home and be obedient and humble children to our parents to our animators to our teachers to our friends and to all those that we come in contact with we want to thank the choir Please, let's clap for our choir today. Yeah. 
We have the choir, a combination of the parishes from Suulere Dinari, three parishes actually, um, St. Bridget Ike Jesha, St. Um, S.S. Molumba and David Lawansin, and St. Anthony, Al Our Lady of Fatima Aguda, yes. Those are the three parishes that made up the choir. So we are grateful for them singing in this liturgy today. And of course, the lector, the young lady that read was from St. Anthony's Catholic Church, Baja. Thank you very much. And prayer of the faithful was taken from each of the parishes under Surulere Dinari. We are grateful for all your participation. And we thank in a special way the Dinari Coordinator of Surulere, Mrs. Achebe Obiora. Thank you very much for organizing your animators and children to be here today. In absentia, in a very special way, we want to say thank you to the Dean of Surulere. He's very much aware he would have been here, but for some other engagement, he's not here. Very Reverend Monsignor Anthony Enrile. We thank him for also permitting Surulere Dinari children to come out to participate at this Mass. We thank also all the parish priests under Surulere Dinari for their efforts and contribution to making sure their children come out for today's liturgy celebration. And we pray that God will continue to bless them as they walk in his vineyard through Christ our Lord. Our dear animators, our parents, patrons and patronesses from the various parishes, we are grateful we know all that you do on ground and it's only God that will reward your efforts and bless you in your different and individual families. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Thank you very much for coming. God bless you all. Let us rise for the final blessing. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, O Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace, the mercy is ended.